I walked all the way downstairs to do laundry, and for some reason, I think I've explained this before, my building is like, like one half is Wilmer and one half is Davis, and the Davis side is always bumping, everything is always like taken, and then the Wilmer side is forever empty. So I go down to the Davis side, because that's the side I live on, and all the washers are taken by the custodian. Which, I guess that's okay, because I woke up early to do laundry, so she probably assumed that no one else would. Which makes sense. Like, it's it's okay. But then I went to the Wilmer side, and everything was empty. And so it's weird. And I'm doing laundry. And I decided when I'm home, I'm just going to buy a ton of underwear. Because I don't have enough underwear, and that's why I need to keep doing laundry. Which I guess is good, because it encourages me to wash my clothes. But, I just... It's so annoying, but I love having clean clothes. I don't know. I just want more underwear, guys. I'm currently sitting on the floor in the laundry room. I have six minutes left on the washer, so now I get to stare at it and wait for it to be done and then move it to the dryer. All right, so the laundry is finished. I just took up my clean clothes. And just as a disclaimer, I want you guys to know that I don't wear dirty underwear. I just, when I say I'm out of clean underwear, I mean I'm out of clean underwear that's comfortable and cute. So I have to wear uncomfortable, not as cute ones that are big on me. And it's not as fun, but I don't wear dirty underwear. <laughs> so anyways, now I'm gonna have to fold the clothes and put them away, probably watch some Netflix and then eat some food and then maybe take a nap or get ready. I don't know if we're going to the rec center today. Um, but Sarah isn't out of class for another few hours, so I still have time to kill. The clothes are somewhat folded. Um, as you can see, that pile of pants. And then I kind of just threw random things on top of each other. And that is because the nap won. And so now I'm going to sleep for a while because I'm really tired. And if I, like we're doing stuff tonight. So it's Friday and since everyone's in class, I might as well take a nap so I'm not a monster later. I think I'm gonna take a nap and save my friends from having to put up with my Hulkness because I pretty much am the Hulk. But like, I don't hurt people or things. I just kind of yell. I have a Hulk voice. You'll see it someday. I don't know. I'm gonna take a nap. I ended up sleeping for a very long time and the sun is setting. So that's why it's like ridiculously dark. If the curtain's not there, this is what I look like. I have no idea what this will look like on a computer, but I'm holding my curtain open. I don't think we're going to the basketball game just because um, everyone's busy with stuff and I actually have to apply to my new college, which is very bittersweet. There are lots of pros and cons to moving back home though because it's still a new place and it's definitely in the city rather than the suburbs, I guess you could call it. Um, I am still going to be able to be independent because it is a city and so I'll be able to take uh, the bus everywhere. I can visit Austin all the time. Um, it'll be really nice not to be in a long distance relationship anymore. I think we were good at it, but still, I love being with him all the time. I'm excited to see him again. I'm excited to be with my dogs again because I feel like dogs are really good um, for when you're stressed out and you can just play with your dogs. And then I'm also thinking of um, maybe being a dog walker or a dog sitter because I love dogs so much. Dogs have just always been a huge part of my life so I just, it'd be fun to spend time with more than just my dogs even though I love my dogs. Um, and then also I'm going to get like an actual job. Um, and I don't really know where yet, but there are a few malls around my house, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so I get to be with family more, my boyfriend, um, still, I will still have that independence. Um, and then I'll just be closer to everything I love. And then, yeah, so I'm happy. I'll definitely miss my friends here a lot, but I don't know. 
it's it's bittersweet in other news I am almost at 400 subscribers which I'm super super happy about and if you haven't subscribed to me yet you should because that would make me super super happy um, I'm at like 370 something right now and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you and it's just so cool of me to see how many people are interested in my life um, and also thank you guys so much for your comments and for everything like I've said before every comment and every new subscriber is like a present to me I get so so excited and it's just something that I really look forward to every day and I'm like very much talking with my hands but it's out of the shot so if you see me like dancing that's why but anyways thank you guys so much please subscribe if you haven't already and I just kind of wanted to tell you guys that before I forgot so thank you look who it is my friends it is so overwhelming in there I'm sorry it's okay I didn't know where you guys were okay so we all met up to go to dinner but the dining hall in my dorm is filled with children. Okay, maybe not children. Maybe seniors in high school. I don't know. But yeah, no matter what. They were younger than us and they were there eating all our food. So <laughs> we are actually just impatient and hungry. So we are going to walk to the dining hall by Sauna and Micah's dorm. So they're just getting a workout today. Okay, so our adventure was a success. We all got ramen. Theirs looks a lot more beautiful than mine. But the dining hall guy said that I'm adventurous because I put a poached egg on top. And it is still very, very, very crowded here. But we were able to get food because everyone here is like sitting down with their food already. And there's no lines anywhere else. All right, so dinner was a success. And now we're going to the market, which we call the market because one time the A was missing from the sign. <laughs> and I wanna get maybe ice cream, because um, how do you explain Ferdinand's? It's like local deliciousness of ice cream. It's like our own creamery. It's like yeah. Washington State. Yeah, creamery. like our own creamery of beauty, and I'm gonna eat some ice cream, because they are selling like little ice cream sandwiches from Ferdinand's in the market. How's your day today, Micah? Pretty good. Good? What was the best thing about it? Yeah, I slept in. <laughs> yeah. First class was at four today. I ended up changing my mind because there wasn't any flavors that I wanted. And we were also approached by drunk people earlier and they're still out here. I've just been judged for taking a selfie. When I wasn't taking a selfie, I was vlogging. <laughs> Which is more embarrassing. It's not embarrassing! <laughs> See, people like Micah just don't understand. And I get bullied and People are mean to me, and when you vlog, you just gotta be tough, yo, yo. Because yo. I'm also holding a, I'm like, my phone's on the gorilla pod thing, so like, Automated there's no way selfies. to not make this look super obvious, but I guess it looks like a <laughs> selfie. But I don't know, who takes a selfie like this? So I wanted to talk more about vlogging in public. It's something that I've seen me and Austin get asked about a lot. There is a time and place for everything, and in certain situations, it's not okay, just as it would be like talking on the phone or taking a selfie. And I mean, people FaceTime their friends and family. So I feel like it's normal to be vlogging or taking a selfie even, or just kind of doing whatever in public. It's just some people are kind of judgy. <laughs> but if you can put up with judgy people, it's just something that I feel like I've learned to do. Not that I normally get comments like that. That was the first and only time it's ever happened to me. It's not something I'm offended by, just because this isn't a normal thing and a lot of people don't know about vlogging, but I feel like, I don't know, I can handle it because I don't think it's that weird because I'm just sharing my life. Because you're awesome. And because I'm awesome. Do you know where your jacket's from yet? Oh, I, okay, it's either from Target or Macy's. We're still not sure. <laughs> when did you get it? Oh my god, like a year ago, I think, so I don't know if it's still there. There's hope. Isn't there an app where they can like take a picture of you and find it oh somewhere? <laughs> okay, but yeah. So, vlogging is acceptable. Everything is acceptable as long as you can put up with people judging you. And as long as you do you, then I think you'll be fine. And now we know where her mystery jacket's from. We're watching Cutthroat Kitchen now, and I'm going to quickly end the vlog because we're super into it, and I'm not going to have any other time to do this. So thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Goodbye.